Okay, this is it, my last video. Um, so for this one, my uh, student choice, I wanted to do something different. So I chose Titus Andronicus, which is a Shakespeare play. So it's actually a play instead of music or um, visual art. But I chose it because it's something I'm super passionate about and I, it's a piece of work that I really loved. So this is me outside of the globe. Um, there was a specific production that I'm gonna be talking about um, that was in the winter um, collection of plays at the globe um, this year, 2023. Um, so uh, the play Titus Andronicus was obviously written in London, England, where it was still being performed. Um, the specific location where I saw it was the Sam Winemaker Playhouse, which is the adjoining indoor theater um, next to the globe, which is what's right here. Um, the artist um, is obviously William Shakespeare was the writer, but the director of this specific production was Jude Christian, um, both of which are English artists. The period is um, technically Renaissance. Um, um, the play was first performed in 1594, but obviously the version I saw was quite contemporary. Um, I also think it holds a lot of Baroque elements in the violence of this thing. Titus Andronicus is really well known as being Shakespeare's most violent and gory work. Um, on the back of the, my playbill, it had a quote from Act Two, vengeance is in my heart, death in my hand, blood and revenge are hammering in my head. Um, this was just so amazing. Um, so specifically in this production, um, it was entirely lit by candlelight, um, and there was an addition of music to make commentary on the violence of men and the unnecessary bloodshed um, of revenge and men's egos, and I thought that that was a really interesting touch. So here's the sky all lit up with candles. Um, the director, Jude Christian, made a really interesting choice um, to cut out um, the physical violence entirely and snuff out or cut or throw candles into a wall to depict the deaths instead, which I thought was a really interesting, exciting choice. And also in a show, in a play that's so driven and focused on violence um, set forth by men onto women, onto men, on, onto children, um, instead she made it an all-female cast, which I really personally loved. The work itself obviously follows Titus Andronicus, who is a Roman general, and his journey turning down the role of em emperor um, after a battle against the Goths and getting revenge against the queen of the Goths. Chaos ensues. I won't get into all of it, but there, there's some of the, um, the history and defining characteristics there. Um, yeah, so I chose this work because um, I'm super passionate about theater and Shakespeare in general. I'm a huge nerd. I have a doll. I have a Shakespeare doll. Um, yeah, and I just thought that that was something that I would really enjoy talking about. Um, yeah, comparing to other works of the period, obviously, um, this was one of Shakespeare's popular plays because of the violence that it held. It's also um, a great comedy. Um, my fun fact is that the first Your Mom joke is in this play, or the first recorded Your Mom joke, um, and so I just think that that's really cool. And then compared to contemporary works, um, it really stepped out to be bigger picture, and Jude Christian made a larger social commentary um, on violence as a whole, and as I said, men's egos, and I just... I loved this work, um, and I wanted to talk about it for my student choice. So yeah, thank you so much for everything. I hope this was somewhat interesting.